Adam Trigger here, wagertalk.com, and we're talking week four NFL, Vikings and Panthers. But first, give us a like and subscribe on this channel if you're enjoying the free picks so we can grow this channel and bring you more free picks in NFL and college football all season long. Back to the game we're breaking down here. It's the winless Panthers against the winless Vikings. And man, the Vikings experiencing some of that regression. I've got to say, I, I experienced it myself. I had the best college basketball season ever, followed by a terrible Major League Baseball season. Sometimes the ebbs and flows go like that, and that's what's happening to the Vikings. All they could do last year was win one-score games, and now they're 0-3 in three games where they've lost by one possession or you know by, by one possession within a touchdown. The Panthers are 0-3 as well, although that was somewhat to be expected. This team is kind of in a rebuild, still figuring out, you know, what to do at the quarterback position, rookie quarterback, so on and so forth. But I like what I've seen from the Panthers, all things considered, more than the Vikings to this point. I think the Panthers are, are the more appealing side from an against the, uh, an ATS perspective and from just a, a value perspective going forward. I would almost say the Vikings starting 0-3 could be the beginning of the end for this team where the, the wheels kind of fall off because – just in general, this Vikings team, that they're they're not what they were last. They were never 13 4 team. They were never a 13 and 4 team, in my opinion, last year. They were on the positive side of all sorts of variants. But now you throw in 0 and 3, throw in the fact that their defense, specifically their secondary, is horrific. And, and I, I can see this team sort of struggling this year, the wheels falling off a little bit. And and, and with all that being said, I can't possibly endorse them as a three and a half point road favorite here. Now on the Panther side, what I'd be looking for is two things and it's going to kind of be contingent upon the injury report. One, who is the quarterback going to be here? Are we going to get Bryce Young? Are we going to get Andy Dalton or two, you know, how healthy is the Panthers defense? Because part of the reason I think the Panthers got blown out in the end or, you know, kind of, you know, lost big against Seattle last week was some defensive injuries that caused things to sort of go off the rails for the Panthers on the road. Ended up giving four, ended up giving up 425 yards to the Seahawks. And, you know, that's just not what I expected from them. I had a bet on the Panthers last week and I thought the defense, it would keep them in the game. And it wasn't the case. The offense actually looked a lot better with Andy Dalton at quarterback, but they couldn't keep the Seahawks off the scoreboard because of some defensive injuries. I think that's still the case. I think if Dalton is under center here, he gives the Panthers a better chance to win this game. If, if it's young, that's a move that the Panthers, you know, they want him to play and be the quarterback going forward. Now, if the defense is healthy, I may still look to jump in with the Panthers. Uh, but if it's not, I couldn't possibly back the Panthers in this spot if they have guys out on defense, knowing that Kirk Cousins and that Vikings passing attack is still pretty form formidable and will, you know, should move the ball here, um, you know, if the Panthers don't have their top-notch defense out. So this is one I'm going to look to bet the Panthers. I think they're the value. I think plus three and a half, three and a half, if they're healthy and full strength on the defensive side of the ball is a good number. But that's something we're probably going to need to wait for the injury report to know for sure. So check, check back with me on Twitter, at TopFlightSI. If I do play this game, I will give it out for free on Twitter and confirm that I'm, I'm actually going to make a play. But those are the two things I really keep an eye on here. The, the Panthers' defensive health. And then for me, I'd rather have Dalton. I really think Andy Dalton under center gives the Panthers a better chance to win right now. And I'd be more comfortable backing this Panthers team if he's the quarterback on Sunday. So head on over to Twitter, at Top Flight SI, for more on this one. And if you want all of my football picks, head on over to wagertalk.com and use promo code TRIG100, that's T-R-I-G-100, for $100 off any full-season NFL or college football package. And click the other videos on the screen for more free NFL and college football picks.